Okay, I wanted to do a quick video because the um, way to build the OSIO has changed a little bit since uh, I recorded all the videos in the course. Um, so previously, uh, you'll see in the building the EOSIO code video, which I'm planning on leaving up, um, we pull down the code from the EOSIO repo over here, we do a git pull, and then we uh, run a build script. Um, but now they're they're uh, vending out um, release binaries. So now all we need to do is go to this release tag um, and then download the latest version, whether you're running uh, Mac OS or uh, a flavor of Linux. In my case, I'm running Debian, or uh, sorry, Ubuntu, so I download the Debian file. Uh, and then once it's downloaded, I've already done that, uh, you just need to sudo apt-get install it. And that will take care of all of the, of the uh, pulling down dependencies and all that other stuff. And then it will also add the appropriate commands to the path. Uh, so uh, this video here, aliasing the software components, isn't really necessary anymore. They take care of that for you while you do the install. Um, as far as everything else should, in the con as far as like content goes in the course, everything else should be exactly the same. Um, it's just much, much quicker to uh, do the download this way versus... Um, pulling down the code and building it yourself, which is what we were doing before, and it was taking, you know, on the order of hours, which is kind of forever. Um, so I just wanted to go through, show you how to do that, uh, so you don't have to do that before. I'm going to leave the build the EOSIO code video up, um, because in that video we go through um, the developer documentation as well, um, but I'll add like a big, you know, bold letters, old, you know, don't use this anymore. Uh, okay, see you in the next video.